Hi everybody, hey, it's Lisa here from Lisa Perez Creations, and I am have a flip through for you. This is a, what I'm calling this, the Garden Botanical. It is a two signature journal. Um, it has 100 pages. It has some doilies on the side of here that I kind of put together. It's got some really cool looking little metal corners here. And, uh, and actually in all four corners too. I put this little, this little faux postcard to kind of cover this lace here um, because it was the glue was showing a lot on that and so I thought I'd just cover it with that and that looks nice that way. Um, I put some buttons here and I also put a journal plate here as well. And it, oh, this measures five and a half by seven and a half inches. So. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. I put this organza ribbon here um, on the underneath on each side, this on the front, and I just kind of like attached it to the back as well, like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and open this up. Take a look at this little thing here. All right, here is a postcard on the very front. Uh, I decided to put this real pretty butterfly paper here. It's kind of like a butterfly botanical flower journal, you know. Here's like a po postcard. And this is some fabric that I added. I make two fabric pockets on the front and on the back as well as I and I put a some fabric pocket there. Alright, this is a doily with a little beautiful little butterfly, sparkly butterfly there. Um this is taken from a Reader's Digest. It was like some really pretty paper on the front where it's like a name, um, it's name plate pretty much there. Here is journaling card and this is, I got a bunch, a whole bunch of these, it says raspberry shipping labels here. Um, and I thought these would be really cute here. So put that there in this pocket. You can see it. Here is a, um, here's a journaling card with mushrooms on it. Yeah, so a mushroom theme as well. Um, and then this here, I use a, a paper clip to hold this together. And okay, this comes off. And this is a journaling card here in the front. And then this opens up for some more journaling space here um, for writing. And then, of course, this is a, a pocket in the top. And then um, this just slides under here. And then this is a journaling card that slides there. Butterfly from um, Graphics Fairy. I, I got a bunch of stuff from Graphics Fairy in, in this journal I used. Here's some pretty crochet trim. The journaling card with some um, sorry silk top on that tag. Here's another little pocket. Some more journal cards here. Here is a beautiful butterfly that is clipped on with a rusted um, safety pin. And this beautiful botanical page. Love that. Oh, and then there's little tabs, little furry looking tabs throughout on these different pages in here. There's a um, botanical page. Situated here. Okay, here is a little side, a little tuck spot there with a um, journaling tag there. This journaling tag there is a little bit of some crocheted doily and a button. Here is another little spot to put a journaling card in. It's a pocket. Here's some of that tea dyed paper, lacy paper. Here's a little tuck spot with a tag. Another little pocket with a tag here. Some graph paper and some the other side of that lacy paper. Here is a billy band with some lace there. Um, Here's another one of those tags with some interesting 
laces there. And then this is just a little tag that folds out like that. Do some writing that says peace on it. Here's another little tuck spot with a tag. It just fits here. Here's a side tuck spot with a journaling card. Some of that fluffy stuff. All right, this is a pocket with a tag. And I think, yeah, this is also a belly band here. So you can put that there if you like as well. This is Emerald Dreams botanical page. Here is a pocket and a tag. And a tuck spot with a ticket. A little butterfly on there. I just added this beautiful lace on the edge of here. Oh no. Okay, yeah. I added, I thought it was stuck together. I added this beautiful lace there, the trim. And then on this page, we have a tuck spot with a tag, and it kind of flips up so you can put it in with so the butterfly is showing there. Here is a book page. Um, here is a journaling, or I mean a ledger paper. And here is a here is a couple pockets here with a journaling card here. And that oh, and this on the back has a little pocket and it has a ticket that sits in there. So that's kind of cute. That. And of course some lilies on the top here. So the journaling card. And I just I put these two pockets together from this kit and just put those together like that. Here is another pocket with a journaling card and a tag. Here is another journaling card and a billy band. Here is an old book page with a fold out little spot to journal. And it also has another journaling area here. So you have a couple journaling spots there. Some little book pages there. Some more tea dyed paper. There's a little, I think you can, you can put something in here if you'd like. I did not put anything in there. Here is a side tuck. You see paper. Here is a belly band and another tag. Very botanical looking. I'll just let that plane there. This is part of an um, old book page. Of a, I think it's a children's book. Um, How does a seed become a plant? And then this. I'll show you what I did on this. I'm pretty excited about this. You know like um, those file folders? Those hanging file folders? Um, I took this out of there. And I, I turned it into like a little tuck spot. Uh, these are really good to save and use. I've just never done that before, and I thought it worked out really nice in here. And I don't have it in front of me. I'd show you what I'm talking about more, but I will at another time when I can do that. So, book pages. Here's a little tuck spot with a little tag. Here's another one of those. And I just clipped this, this card on here to this one. Here is the center of one of the signatures, I'm not sure, and, and I put lace pockets on both of these pockets, and then this is one of those, uh, those tape stationaries that you write in, you, put, you send it. That had nasturtiums on it, I thought it was really pretty, I love that. It goes in there, and then also a little mushroom card, and this pocket I have another one of those, and it's got butterflies on it, and it's for journaling. Oh, and then that's what this looks like on this side. And that fits just in this pocket. 
and also um, this mushroom card. So both of these have pretty much the same things in them. Here is a pocket and a card, journaling tag. Here is a beautiful little butterfly, and it's got um, two tags, one here and one here. Let me just fit in here. Just kind of wiggle them around to get them both in there. This is on some really old, old paper. It's like a, it's an end papers from an old book. Here's a corners, corner tuck with the journaling cards. Um, botanical page. Here is another lace pocket and it has another journaling card. This plant on there. Here is another, I guess a, a belly band here, and a pocket, a side pocket, and this journaling card fits in there. Just the side of that children's book. Here's another um, corner tuck with a little tiny pocket with a tag here, and some more journaling cards here. Here's another botanical page, and here is another tag with some leaves on it. Some more of that lacy paper with a butterfly, and a butterfly up here. And this is a little pocket that I put over the top of the page there, and there's nothing in this. You could put a secret note in there or something, you know. And that just clips over the top of this page, um, of this it's like an envelope. And then you can also put things in here, and I did not put a tag in there. That it's for you to do. <laughs> okay, got some another deeper pocket here with another journaling card. And this one, I put some paper behind it to make it look like this. I've got this out of a botanical book. Here is pocket with a butterfly on it, and some of that really cool lace. And I got a tag and a drilling card. It fits in here. Oh, and then, oh, I forgot about this one. And then this is another little journey card that's on the top of here. Just sitting on there. And here is the back page with the fabric pocket and this journal card. In there. So, okay, that is the journal. And then this is the back. I showed you the postcard up there. And that is the front. Okay, well this, like I said, this journal is now available in my Etsy shop. If you've seen this video, it is now available. If you, you or if anyone is interested in purchasing this, it is available. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that flip through. Um, um, do need to apologize for not coming on and doing some videos sooner. Um, I have some limited resources right now because my husband and I have sold our house and we're, we're um, in the process of moving. We put our house up for sale in December and it's taken this long to finally get somebody that will, that wants to purchase our house. And, um, and so during that, during December, I purged everything. I, it was Christmas time and I was making my Christmas journals and I did not really even have, I took some of my supplies and put them in storage because I didn't know, I thought it was going to be a lot sooner that we'd be selling our house. And so um, I put a lot of stuff in storage and so I don't have a lot of resources with making my books. So uh, I can't wait to get moved into our new place and getting my little studio set up here and being able to dip it dip into my resources and really get some things out that have been put in storage and my sewing machine's one of them so I haven't really been, di been doing any stitches on, stitching on my pages or anything because I just don't have it and um and so now our our house is closing in March um March 17th is our we're gonna be closing so um I am I've got this going and I got two more journals that I'm gonna be working on one of them is this journal and it's just it's going to be another botanical journal, and I got another one sitting here, this one, and then I'm going to be working on this one and this one. So before I move, I'm hoping that I'll get these done before before I move. So these are both going to be botanical ones, 
and I will, sh I will give you a sneak preview when I get started on those. But in the meantime, um, this is available, and I just want to say thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, sorry it's been taking me so long to get back and do some videos, but, um, but I'm going to be able to do a lot more videos once I get situated in my new place. So, okay, with that, I'm going to say bye for now, and um, I appreciate all you guys so much, and thank you guys so much uh, for for commenting and leaving and becoming a subscriber, and it's just really great. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.